are finally heading back to the gym. I say we, as in you and me. Not Jack, he's ill. First we need to sort this mess out. But yeah, finally going back to the gym. So the reason I haven't been in like six weeks is if you are subscribed, you'll have seen, because I never shut up about it, but I was ill during December. I had that awful cold that everybody seemed to have and it just wouldn't go away. It was here for about three weeks. Then I was just really, really busy with Vlogmas because I was doing, I did Vlogmas <laughs> every day. Jack did wave there, but it was blocked by my head. So it was just a bit busy. And then obviously we had Christmas. Then I took the time between Christmas and New Year off because I was like, I just want some time off. I'll just have some time off. And then I went back and the manager of the gym wasn't very well, as in like continuously vomiting and then he came in work anyway which wasn't a vibe for me i have a met like very 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 bad emetophobia like very bad emetophobia so when i heard he was in the gym i was like i'm not gonna be here i'm i'm going so then i had another week off i am at the end of my first week back so we're doing upper body a day i had basically i did a session one week because i was like oh let's go to the gym and then i went back did my one session when I found out he was there, so then was like, mm, no. And now I'm on technically my third week back, but this is my first full week back. Like today is number four, so I have done I've done a complete week finally. The DOMs were a bit intense. I'm not gonna lie. Been a bit rough, but I'm feeling better now. The first lower body one was the worst. I couldn't walk for like two days afterwards, but it was fine, we got through it. And that's the hardest bit. Going back is the hardest bit. We are, very excitedly, doing a mic up workout today. Let me tell you about it, hang on. So I have been gifted this beautiful microphone. <laughs> it is from Joby, Joby, Joby? Joby. And they are the people who created the Gorilla Tripod, if everyone can remember when that went huge at the beginning, where it's the one that grips everything. I have a knockoff one. I don't know where that is, but that one's horrific. So I'm assuming theirs actually works. So it's the same people who did that. They now do microphones. They do, by the way, this isn't an ad. I am not contractually obliged to say any of this. If anything is gifted to me, I will not accept it unless I'm allowed to say whatever I want. So anything that I say is off me. It's not off them. And just going forward as well. That's how it works. If it's gifted, I can say whatever I want. I don't even have to post it. And this is gifted, not an ad. So they do a full on, what's it called? Like on mic one that's huge, massive. The thing that all the big YouTubers use. They have them, but I thought we'd get this one because then we can do mic of gym workouts because I've done a few. I think I've done two. And I literally just used my phone and had my phone like clipped into here. And it didn't work that well. It's gonna work well now. People seem to actually quite enjoy them. So we're gonna unbox it. Please, I'm, I am so excited. This is the only, this is like, only the second thing I've ever been gifted. Well, I think it's like the third thing, but anyway. This is exciting. This is the biggest thing I've ever been gifted. I am, I'm buzzing. All right, let's open this correctly. Oh, no, oh, oh, upside down. I do need to take a second and figure out how to use them before we head to the gym. Hopefully they're gonna work. <laughs> right, let me figure this out. Then we'll head to the gym and we'll go try and up our body. So I was a silly bully and kind of forgot that things need to be charged before you can use them. So <laughs> it's a few days late there and today we're gonna do the mic'd up workout instead. I just completely forgot that things might need charged. <laughs> They took like two, three hours to charge, so there was no kind of like, oh, well, I'll just wait. I had to go to the gym. So I've done the upper body workout. We're going to change it to a lower body workout today, which I kind of prefer anyway. I like it. I don't know. I like filming the lower body workout. I feel like they're more popular. So we had a look at them when they were charged. I think I've got the hang of it, but if this one isn't great, bear with me while I get the hang of them and the next one will be better because it's just I don't know which like volume it needs to be because you can turn them up and down and I have no idea where they're gonna have to be for the gym so if it's a bit fun like finicky funky I do apologize hopefully it's gonna be okay though anyway let's go do a mic up gym workout <laughs>
We're testing it. We'll see how this is. I am talking really quietly, but it's under, it's under there. I think it is working. So hopefully you can hear me. I'm hoping it's thingying out the um, music in the background because obviously I can't film if there is music. But fingers crossed, it is a bit busier than I was hoping for. But it'll be all right. It's okay. I need to warm up. We have squats today. So I do need to do a very, very good warm up. I have this weird thing with my hamstrings. If I don't warm them up, they literally wreck. And obviously we should be warming up anyway, but my hamstrings are like, by the way, you didn't warm up enough. And then I can't do anything else for the rest of the day. So we're gonna warm up everything and then go do some squats. clean your bars ladies and gents people are disgusting i have seen this i have worked in gyms always clean your stuff right let's warm up the bar now done solid right let's up the weight some slides on are they in the right oh well, they're all tidy delightful i always use my own clips oh i forgot the freaking plate try that again but I can't be bothered to go get my own clips, so we'll just use the other ones and then put some hand sanitizer on. Please make sure you're touching the floor to sanitize your hands because honestly, it's absolutely disgusting what the floor is like. Not just specifically to this gym, but just to any gym in general. People walk in here with dog shit on their shoes. Not a word of a lie. Next one looks set. I'm going to talk louder because this music is ridiculously loud. I might have something to turn it down. one right well my set's done i am still working up back to my working weight from before christmas because obviously with the massive gap i have lost some strength which is to be expected especially if i've been ill i was doing 80 kilos for five and this is like full depth well the first week i did 70 for three then i've done 70 for four and last week i did 70 for five i'll probably stick with 70 and then see how i feel first work inside is always a lighter and then i move up to my heavy if you are new i always do the ethos of two hard working sets and the rest work on your form i have a massive wedgie and there's nothing i can do about it See? Good form. Deep. Extra grass. Lovely. Two more. Whew. Let's go on the floor. Next I'll do 70. I want to put it up today, so we'll do 70 for 5. And then we'll put it up to 75, see how that feels. I don't want to mess myself up. After the break, because I was going lighter anyway, I was like, let's just focus on depth more. And on this 70 weight, I've been able to get quite good depth, even though it's relatively heavy for me. We'll do small increments. Right, let's do this kind of... I'll overthink it. Oh, that was some nice stuff. <sighs> Easy. Come on. Oh, nice. Whew, that was good. I definitely had another one in me there. <laughs> I'm gonna 
put the weight up to 75 and then see how I do. I reckon I can probably do three at that depth, maybe. I don't know, we'll give it a try. Felt good though, it was good depth. Right, three minutes rest and then we'll go again. 75 now, let's go. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm an absolute idiot, I'm an idiot. So silly. Let's try it again. Beautiful. No, let's not do that. We've seen the nightmare TikToks. Oh, the stance was too wide. Oh, I'm doing another one. Oh dear. Oh, that felt good. Right, that was the last seven one. I'm gonna do the last one off camera. So I'll see you for the next exercise. Right, we are doing hip thrusts. I am thoroughly within the camp of people who hate hip thrusts, but they're effective. So we're doing hip thrusts. I'm hoping now you can hear me better and there's no issue of the music in the background. If the last, I don't know, five minutes has been completely silent because YouTube went, no, you can hear music. And I do apologize. So <laughs> can't be bothered. That last set of squats was freaking hard. It was hard. But now we're doing hip thrusts, which are even harder. So <laughs> we are doing pause rep. So we're going up as fast as you want. And then at the top, hold for three and then come back down. I am do what am I doing? I think I'm doing non-stop as well. I can't remember. I'll remember once I get going. I am on 45 kilos because this is um pause reps are brutal. The bar is smaller, so if you're like mm, that doesn't add up. The bar is a 15 kilo bar, so this should be 45, I think. What is this? 15, 30. Yeah, 45. Right. Okay. Let me stop procrastinating and get on with the workout. Right. Let's go. Yeah, non-stop. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Oh, ew, 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 ew. I have, I used to hate them more because I couldn't feel them, but now I can feel them and they're just disgusting because they're freaking hurt. I think my receiver's dying and I went and asked the manager for a charger for it because it's just USB-C so I was like awesome he was like I do have one incredible amazing give me it please incompatible it's not charging it so that's great what is the point in having USB-C if you're not going to be compatible with everything like it's like the EU went yeah oh have I started my rest timer yes I have it's like the EU went right everything USB-C let's make it easy easy for everyone and then some companies have went but you can only use our cable though. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Right, we've got two minutes rest to recover and then we'll go again. We're doing three sets of this. But like I was saying, um, I've been really, really working on my form for this and trying to do like the scoop method and really like pushing up through my bum instead of just going through the motions and not actually getting any of the effects for this. And I'm, it's doing really, really well. I can feel it in my, the top of my glute, which is the glute med, I think. And I've never, ever been able to feel the top of my glutes. So I'm, I'm really proud of myself that I've been working hard on these. And they finally feel like they're being effective. I don't do normal hip thrusts. I only do pause up because they're the things that I feel like are helping me to do the movement better. And I'm doing squats and deadlifts currently in my workout plan. So hip thrusts can F off. Right. I am very worried about my receiver diving. Dying. So I'm going to do two more sets of this and I'll see you on the next exercise. Hit it. 
Central. I need a first class ticket to the top, no limit. I right. Next up, we're doing, this is a really odd angle, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't get anyone in the shot. So we're doing single leg RDLs. I have changed these up recently. I have been doing them contralateral hold. So basically, Brett Contreras shared a study the other week being like, the doing a contralateral hold for a single leg RDL has been shown to have more activation in the glute med and the hamstring. No, it was the glute med and another glute muscle, I think. And then ipsilaterals are the same, actually, hit your hamstrings more and I'm wanting to do these for glute meds to the top of my brother. So like I say, it doesn't work. And I tried them. <laughs> that study was correct. So basically, you need to have something to hold on to. So I hold on to this because I really like the hooks. For this side, I'm going to do the left leg. So no, hang on, let me get this right. I'm going to do my right leg. So I'm going to put it in my left hand, hold on to this side, and then we're just going to go back. And that Oh, honestly, it absolutely wrecks. It wrecks way more. No, I was up to like 24 when I was doing the same leg. I'm on 12 now. So this is intense. Don't underestimate it. Right, let's do this set. If it's bad angle, hopefully I'll fix it for the next uh, set. Oh, 10, right. Jesus. Ooh. Right, okay, other side. Right, hopefully you can see where I'm holding on to a bit better now. Keep making sure you're not in the way of anyone because you're like next to a piece of equipment. Ten, four more. Ooh, honestly, the wreck, the absolute wreck. God, I'm so out of breath. Ideally, well not ideally, normally, I put a uh, breath in between them because can I sit here? Can I sit? Can I? Ooh. Yeah, we can sit. Basically, with ones like this, I'm pretty much all single-handed exercises. I put a rest in between them because my cardiovascular system is going to give out way before my second slide. So normally, I'll have like 30 seconds to catch my breath, get my heart rate down somewhat. Obviously, not completely down, but down somewhat, and then do the other side because we're working the muscle. We're not working the cardio system right now. I probably should at some point because it's not where it should be currently, but we're not doing it right now. We are working the glutes. So on the next one, I need to remember to put my 30 seconds rest in between each glute. I'm thinking I need to get a sign on my tripod that says, please move me if in the way, because I would hate to be in somebody's way. I'd hate the idea of it. And I hope people feel like they can ask me to move it. So I feel like I need to get a little sign that says, move me if I'm being annoying. Not me, the tripod. This exercise as well. This is an RDL, not a stiff leg. So what I'm doing is shifting my hips back and then coming back up. I'm not going as far down as I can. I'm going as far back as I can. So if it looks like I'm doing a half rep for my hips, that's a full rep. What's going on with my hair? I've got a full on middle part. I need to remember to come all the way back up to standing as well. I'm terrible with that. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone's entertaining in jeans. I don't understand. Let's go. Oh God, I'm only six reps in. Oh my God, I've lost count. I think that was 12. I hope that was 14. In the spirit of saving battery, I will see you on the next exercise. This is a super set. I'm just going to do my warm up set whilst what's happening. Um, this is a super set, so we're going to do it in two halves. But first half is on here, which is obviously hamstrings. I hate training hamstrings with a passion. So we have to put a hamstring exercise in. And then I do superset with hip abduction. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I didn't have to do it because I've done a lot of stuff already. But we'll see how we go. I could probably not do a warm up set for this. But like I say, my hamstrings kick off. So. I was just chuck a warm up set in there anyway. It's not gonna make me feel too tired to do any more sets. So it's not the worst thing in the world. I do the two hard sets thing on here as well, but because it's a super set, I alternate them. So I do my two hard sets on this because I hate it first. So whilst I'm doing the hard set on this, I do the easy set on the hip abduction and then swap. So when I'm doing my two easy sets on this, I'll do two hard sets on the hip abduction. Again, 
I've been feeling really good about the hip abduction hitting my glute med. I did check. I'm not spreading this information. It is the glute med. I've been feeling really good about that hitting my glute med as well. So this workout, the glute med, which is the top of your bum, rather than that shelf. Very, very good if you do it correctly. Right. Someone is on that. So we might have to do it a little bit separated, but that's fine. No big deal. We could just not do the superset. So I'll just do all my sets on here. Then all my sets on there. It doesn't really matter. I hate this. Halfway through already. I should probably up this way. It's not going to be a hard set if I do this many reps. Let's do two more. All right, let's up that weight because that was too easy for my hard set. There will be considerably less reps on this. I try not to do it too heavy that my back is like falling off the back of the machine because it hurts. So we're going to do it safely and try and keep my back as much on the machine as I can. But it's easier said than done. I'm bored. Let's go up the next set. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. With this, with trying to focus on form, try and keep my feet flexed the entire time. You guys can tell me off if I don't do that. Oh dear. Oh. It's spicy, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's spicy. Let's do this as the last exercise. Oh, this feels hard. It's good though. It means my um, glutes have been working really hard in this workout. Ugh. This is kind of like, because it's my last, my last exercise. I don't care if it's hard. I'm just like, yeah, it means it's been work. I've been working hard. What's going on with my hair? We have three more of this and then we are done. I'm going to do my normal two easy exercises first and then do hard ones. This is high rep because it's the last exercise. So I've just done 20 and then the last one I'll do for the hard set, I'll do 20 so I'll just up the weight. I am sorry if this video is super, super long because I've not done this before really. I um, might have just talked for days and it might be super long. I'll do better in the next one, I promise. This is a, this is a practice one. This is, we'll do better. I'm getting impatient. I need to remember to do my rest. Halfway. Whoa. Oh God, even this is feeling hard currently. Right, I think someone's wanting to use what you're on. So I'll catch up with these after I'm finished. Right, back home. Uh, I'm making myself a protein shake. I'm trying to get into the habit. And something that's been helping is sweets. Hang on, I need to wash my hands. Anyway, back to it. Sweets, been helping. I, uh, I had these from Christmas and they're perfect because I need some carbs to go with the protein shake. I know they're good carbs, they're yummy carbs, but they also coat my mouth so I can't taste the protein shakes. I hate protein shakes. I don't hate them to like a can't have them extent but I don't enjoy them. So I've had a few sweets before especially these rhubarb and custard ones because they really do coat your mouth. It means I can't taste the protein which is just thumbs up all around. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing this when I come in because I have not been eating enough protein as per usual. Last year was just horrific for protein. It was not good. So Try to get in the habit of protein shake when I come in. Any other time I don't try it, I don't, I don't eat it. And I tend to have, not a light lunch, but like my lunch isn't as big as tea. So it's the perfect time because then I'm over full after eating as well. But I'm determined to get my protein up this year because I'm sick of my training going to waste. I train hard. I know I do. I train well as well. But what's the point? It's all going to waste. If I'm not eating enough protein, because I ain't gonna grow anything, am I? You're out of battery, hang on. Obviously, when I say it's a waste, it's not a waste in terms of health benefits. Because obviously, weightlifting, really, really good for you. But in terms of growing, a little bit of a waste. Like, I'm pushing myself hard in the gym to get big, and then I'm not eating enough protein. 
it doesn't make sense. I also have been trying to remember to take my vitamins and stuff as I'm going because... Hello. Hello. Sexy. Hiya. I don't think you've been in a video this year. No, probably not. Say happy 2024 to everyone. Happy New Year everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been trying to remember to take vitamins at the same time as this. It's a wellness... It's a wellness set. It's a wellness session. We're having protein. We're having vitamins. This means I'm a wellness girly, I think. I do feel like, and I know, I know, we don't all want it to be like, why is it that I'm feeling crap and it then is actually because you're not taking your vitamins, but I do feel better when I'm taking my vitamins. I am taking, currently, calcium and magnesium. I'm taking them because I am on the depo injection and there is a risk for osteoporosis on that. We don't want that. So I'm making sure, even though I think, I think, I get my calcium. I'm not risking that. So we've got calcium and magnesium. Vitamin D, because I live in the northeast of the UK. When do we ever see the sun? Iron, because I'm a lady. <laughs> Iron, I don't need to worry about too much because I don't get a period, but I still want to take it because I don't think I eat anything with ironing. Then also collagen, because collagen, it's up in the air about whether it helps anything, but I mainly take it again for the bone joints risk because it's the osteoporosis, so I mainly take that. I am gonna start as well. I am gonna start taking ashwagandha once I can get consistent with this, because I wanna see if it makes a difference. But I don't wanna start taking it at the same time that I'm taking these, because then I could just feel good because I'm getting my vitamin D go, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's my little ritual when I get back in the gym. We have also improved our meals, but I'm not going at that now, because I am worried that this video is like 45 minutes long. I'm sorry if it didn't go that well. Like I said, this is a trial run. Next time will be better. If this has gone well though, incredible. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but next time will go better. If you have any fitness type videos you'd like me to do, please let me know. I do kind of dabble in fitness. I started this channel for fitness and then realized that it's just really, really hard to make it in the fitness sphere. And I am a qualified personal trainer, so I can talk about this. So if there's anything you particularly want to see, comment, let me know. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share everything that YouTube wants you to do, please do. And even if you don't do any of that, thank you so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.